Hi everybody, I hope you're all safe and well. Um, just thought I'd do this little video. I've had this one come back in. Um, this is a working knife. I'll bring it up and show you. So there's a sheath, and as you can see, we've got a bit of surface rust. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, I'll have words when I about that, actually. You know, a little bit of marking. So obviously got bits of dirt and grass and stuff, but you know, th this knife is used quite a bit. So anyway, let's uh, give this thing a clean up, shall we? Right, as you can see, I'm going to start with the handle area. And just uh, you can see these little bits of surface rust where basically the knife's been put away wet, um, which is never a good idea. So all we're going to use is some 200, uh, two hundred, two and a half thousand grit, tiny bit of WD-40, as you can see, as such, like that, and then literally we'll just clean this up we polish it all back up again and as you can see I'm not hurting the steel and then if I get a little bit of paper as you can see there and you can see how shiny that is now um, in fact I could probably show you the better there so as you can see it doesn't take a lot to look after your nice people <laughs> And in fact, we can just go back through to blend this like so. And there we are, pretty much back to new. A little bit more to do there, so I'll finish that when we move on. Right, let's try and get it in focus. So as you can see, there's some staining there, but I'm not taking everything off because it, it says a working knife. It does want a pristine. And you can see it's a mustard etch finish on this as well. So I'm only looking to remove the, uh, the rust that's been allowed to build up on there. And then we can work on making sure it's sharp and tidying up this. So there we go. That's the start. Just a bit of steel. It's in WD-40. That began, you know, bear with me with the quality of this video because I've done one for about seven months. So now all I'm doing, it's very difficult to do with uh, the camera here, is literally, as you can see, working it along and just very gently removing rust that's on there. As you can see, it's pretty much gone now without trying to remove too much of the, uh, of the mustard etch. We can, it's not always as easy as you think. Very gently, but as you can see, if I uh, tilt this one around now, if I undo this and show you now, as you can see, we're removing it. So I'll finish that and we'll come back. Right, so we've removed the rust as you can see. It's pretty much gone now. So now it's just a case of bringing the, uh, bringing the edges up again, bringing it up nice and sharp. I'm going to be using the polishing wheel on this, but a word of safety to anyone that decides to use these. If you're using it with a sharp knife, for goodness sake, make sure you keep the, the knife always at the low point of the wheel, never up higher, because these things can catch and it's um, the results can not be very good for you. So, yeah, just be very cautious if you're going to use these. <laughs>
and there we go as you can see we've brought it back to uh, to whereabouts it should be I'm not removing all of the marks because it's a working knife but you can see we've cleaned all the spine area up now just gonna need to repolish this wood and then we can work on the edge so I'll keep this going <laughs> Right. So as you can see, we've now recleaned the wood again. Just let me focus. It's pretty much like new, as you can see. It's come right back up again. Um, the blade is is clean, as you can see, and tidy. And all I've got to do is do the edge. So we'll get to that now. Right, as you can see, catches in a couple of areas. I mean, you know, it's still sharp, don't get me wrong, but there's a couple of areas where we're just catching very slightly. If you look really closely, you can see, so um, we'll tidy that up now. People often ask me how I can get my knives so sharp. To be honest with you, once you've done the limited grinding and everything like that, it's just finishing, which is where you get your extra sharpness from. And all I tend to use is this. Again, safety first, but I'll show you just how quickly you can proper put a proper edge back on this. Right, so basically the edge is done now. And as you can see, we're back to nice and sharp again. You know, this, this one's been in the field for two years, I think. So it doesn't take a lot to get them back up again, as you can see. So there, we have ourselves one resharpened, Recleaned X more blaze knife. Now that's all left to do is to do the sheath. Right, the sheath doesn't need a lot of work to be honest with you. It's just a little bit dull and could do with a bit of a, a bit of TLT. It's all I use is a product like this. Any good leather treatment will do. And just liberally apply, and you can see the colour is coming back as as we speak. Just like so, and I like putting my hands because it's—I uh, don't know—it just feels like you're doing a better, better job than you would do with paper. If I'm honest. Just rubbing this in well, as you can see, and then that's it. So you have to apologize. I apologize for my video and skills. It's been a while, and then we just buff. So, and you can see the colours come back in, you can probably see the little, little seam there, which I'd engraved in, and on the front we have a fillet. And that, my friends, is pretty much all I need to do. So there you go, one recleaned. Reconditioned, resharpened, Exmo blades with proper care <laughs> should last a lifetime. So thanks for watching everyone. Keep safe and well and I'll see you all soon.